Yo, what's going on guys? Leafs fan here, and today I'm bringing you guys some more Hockey Ultimate Team here in NHL 17. So, I don't think I've shown you guys my team yet, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my current lineup. And there's been some changes since the first episode, so I'm going to go ahead here. My first line, I've got Max Pacioretty, um, Jason Spezza, Max Domi. Um, let's look at their synergies here. I only have the uh, passing playmaker one at the moment. Um, I'm probably going to try to work on my synergies more as I go, because I think that'll help me a little bit more. Anyways, um, line two here, we've got Gabriel Landeskog, Sean Monahan, former Ottawa 67. I got to see this guy play a lot. Funny story, if you guys know what the dirty is, Sean Monahan is on there, so I, I know some uh, some dirt on this guy, so it's pretty funny. Anyways, um, then my third line is Milan Lucic, Nazem Kadri, Tyler Toffoli. It's a pretty solid line. They've uh, helped me a lot lately. And my third line is uh, Jonathan Huberto, Mikkel Granlin, and Patrick Hornquist. On uh, defense, we've got Jake Gardner and Morgan Riley, uh, Ryan Ellis, Jack Johnson. Shane uh, Gopchitz, I don't fucking know how you pronounce that, but yeah, he's a pretty solid defenseman, and we got uh, Mike Green, who's also pretty solid on the back end, and red goalies at the moment are uh, Frederick Anderson and Cam Ward. I used to have a, um, what's his name, uh, Marc-Andre Fleury card, but I got rid of him because he was just absolute garbage, but Frederick Anderson seems to be uh, pretty solid, so... We will continue with him. So we're going to get into the first game here. See how long it takes me to rage. I, I'm pretty sure it'll take me uh, within the first five minutes to rage at this game. So we'll see what happens here. And they've got it again. All right, good pick up, Riley. Passing one off now. Let's go, Domi. Puck free, roadblock by Markov. A shot. Oh, Max Domi, beauty. That was a great pick up. I've had Max Domi on my team three years in a row, and he has just been solid three years in a row, so definitely go pick up Max Domi. I would love to see this guy in a Leafs uniform someday. You want to score goals, you got to get to this area of the ice. Let's go, we're up one nothing. Six for Toronto, and five for Colorado. Puck dropped and the clock moving in the second period. Missed the net completely. He gains the zone. Shoots a desperate... Rebound, there it is, Morgan Riley. That's why you go to the net. And so he looks like he's in pretty good position. Jason Spezza get those wheels going. Decides he wants the corner. Back near the blue line to Move back to Riley. There we go. There's Morgan Riley with another point in this one. On that beautiful tip there in front. Let's take another look at this one. Gardner right back to Morgan Riley, and Pacioretty is there with the tip. Catches Bartlemov off guard with that, that's for sure. Out of position. And that's just a nice goal there. That's why you get traffic to the net. I thought you were going to score a lot of goals this year, that's for sure. There's a Spezza with another goal in this one. Backhand, forehand. And now we are up 4 to nothing here in the third period. Big win for CUA. We definitely needed this. I had been raging a lot before this game. I didn't record any of those games, thank God. But I definitely feel like we needed this win. Which, unless he comes back and scores four, four goals within uh, ten minutes, uh, I think we pretty much had this one in the bag to this point. Come on. We'll cover that. No. Okay, we're good. Let's get this thing out. Let's get a line change in here, actually. Oh, that one deflected. Oh, that's a penalty. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, ref. Interference there. Marion Hosa. On pretty much a no-doubter of a call. Stop his progress in this particular play. You have to allow him the ability to be a Hornquist. 
I mean, when I've got Max Patch ready, Gabriel Landis Cog, none of them are seeing power play time. There's another goal there by Hornquist. So the power play is still getting it done. Well, it's been a pretty good game for Seaway to this point. Um, not really a good game for this guy. But we're up 5 to nothing here. It looks like we've got this one in the bay. We really needed this win. And at least we didn't rage this game, which is very important, I guess. We've been a lot of rage quitting lately in this game. It's just frustrating. You know, I, I thought it was NHL 17. I went back and played some EASHL, what I know best. And I thought it was the game physics and everything. And, you know, like I said in another video, I hadn't played NHL the NHL 17 beta. So I was coming into this game not expecting much, you know. So I went and played some EASHL, and that has been a lot of fun. So, you know, I went back, played some EASHL, had some fun with that. Now I'm back playing Hut, and I can see that it's it's just Hockey Ultimate Team, you know. It's how it is. I've never really been that big of a fan of Hockey Ultimate Team. I've been getting, even though I've been getting more into it in the past couple of years. Oh, big save there. we got to preserve this shutout. But anyways. We needed this victory. Anyways, guys, that'll do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my Hockey Ultimate Team. I'll be sure to upload another one shortly. And as always, guys, have a good one. Peace.